hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking in this video we're going to understand how to configure our standby router protocol or in short SSRP configuration so basically before we can understand how to configure HSRP it's very very important that you understand the some theory behind HSRP protocol and before we do that guys suppose you're new to this channel or even you have not subscribed to our channel we plead with you to click on the subscribe button like our video and let's know what you're thinking on the comments section okay thank you so much guys and let's begin so basically guys I will open a PowerPoint document to understand some theory behind HSRP okay alright so let's begin HSRP in full it's known as our standby routing protocol so basically this is a layer 3 redundancy protocol and it allows host devices in a network to access another network or internet through multiple paths okay basically it's a layer 3 redundancy protocol that allows host devices in a network to access the internet through multiple paths okay and another thing it's a Cisco proprietary meaning it can only be used with Cisco devices Huawei devices or RHP devices or Juniper devices cannot use HSRP because it's not standard it's only Cisco proprietary protocol and it uses a multicast IP address of this one okay and this protocol works on either a router or layer 3 switch so you know a router and layer 3 switch are layer 3 devices okay so HSRP works on these two devices okay all right so basically guys there are categories of routers in HSRP protocol okay and the first router in HSRP protocol is known as active router the active router is the main router okay and another router is called a standard a standby router and the standby router is that backup router remember HSRP enables host devices to access another network or rather internet through multiple paths meaning when that main path is down the backup path will pick up okay all right so the active router is the router with the highest priority how do we know that this router should be the active router and this particular router should be a standby router we choose the router with the highest priority or rather highest IP address okay and the active router must only be one router the main router should only be one router in the network okay all right so the standby router is that router that has lowest priority priority is a very important thing or rather lowest ip address okay okay so basically you know you'll be given a, a topology as, and it has been specified that this router has this particular priority and ip address so give priority priority <laughs> give priority the first option okay whenever a router has highest priority choose it even if it has lowest IP address okay and then the router with the lowest priority should be the backup router or the standby route okay and the standby router in a network can be more than one one two three four five you know and so on and so forth okay so what you have, you have to understand here guys the active router and a standby route you understand that it's done you understand that you understand that the active router is that router with the highest priority or and if the priority is not given choose the router with the highest IP address and the active router which is the main router should only be one in the network okay but the standby router can be more than one and it's that router that has the lowest priority suppose the priority is not 
given, choose the router with the lowest IP address. Okay? Alright. How do SSIP protocol work? Okay. We understand that all traffic goes through the active or the main router. Okay? And in case the active router fails, okay? Let's say this is router 1, router 2, and router 3. Okay? And this is our switch. And this is the computer. Okay? And they are connected like this. Let me just show you. Just a minute. And we have another switch on this side and a computer. Okay? Just. Uh, so this is a router. This is a router. This is switch. This is switch. And this is uh, another computer. Computer. How do HSRP works? So let's assume this is our main router. Okay? Or the active router. So all the traffic from this user 1 to user 2 will follow the main route. Okay? But in case the main router is down, one of the backup routers will pick up. Okay? Redundancy in the network redundancy in the network very important guys in the previous classes we said that at the physical layer we, how do we implement redundancy let me draw something here assume this is switch and this is switch okay and we have at least uh, three physical links connecting these switches okay this is called redundancy at the physical layer having multiple links such that when this link is down the other link will pick up that is redundancy at the physical layer and how do you implement redundancy at the data link layer layer 2 guys we have some protocols the first protocol is called spanning tree protocol and the spanning tree protocol maintains the loop free topology while enhancing redundancy. How does it maintain a loop free topology? I mean, suppose you have these three links here, just a minute. we have these three physical links here that has been implemented at the physical layer as a redundant then you know the traffic cannot go through these three links at the same time that will cause loops so that the concept of spanning tree protocol the spanning tree protocol will only choose one link to forward traffic and in case that link is down you know it will automatically choose the second link and put it into forwarding state okay so for example the spanning tree protocol has chosen this link as the main link and it has put it into forwarding state so all the traffic will be going through this link okay and in case this link is down the spanning tree protocol which all will automatically put the second link into forwarding state based on some criteria okay or right. another another protocol as a data link layer that will implement redundancy is called either channel assume we have all these three links here okay how do either channel work either channel will assume that all these three links are bundled together to form one logic called channel do you understand what i mean what i mean is that wherever we implement either channel here either channel will assume that all these three links will be bundled together to form one logical channel very simple and we will have re increased bandwidth speed and so on and so forth okay all right so guys today we are at layer 3 redundancy of which we are going to implement 
all standby router protocol and we will say that suppose you have such topology here you know and this is our main router the traffic will be going from pc1 to pc2 through the main router here but in case the main router fails the traffic will go through the second router which is a standby or backup router don't forget all right and you understand the criteria of selection of active or standby routers okay and guys finally we have a very important concept here under hsrp the concept of virtual ip address without these guys hsrp will not work what is virtual ip address the virtual ip address guys under HS, hsrp will hack us the default gateway of the source network very important for example this is our source network right so the default gateway of this pc1 will be the virtual ip address and another point it also acts as a standby ip address of the routers so the standby IP address of these routers here on this side will be the virtual IP address. Okay, very important, guys. Very important. So, guys, basically, let's go on to the configuration part. Thank you for watching this.